We hope you enjoyed the heat transfer lab. Let's go over the main topics you learned. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction transfers heat from direct contact. The most common example is how a stove heats up a pot. Like conduction, convection requires a medium of transfer, however direct contact isn't necessary. With convection, heat is transferred to another object through the movement of fluids or gases. Think of how a blow dryer works. It heats up the surrounding air and raises the temperature of whatever it is pointed towards. Radiation is similar to convection because there is no need for direct contact, but it doesn't require a medium of transfer. Energy is transferred via electromagnetic waves releasing energy in the form of heat. Thermal radiation can be considered the visible light emitted from a burner coil. This is how the sun's rays manage to go through the vacuum that is space and heat the Earth's surface. An infrared camera uses thermal radiation to create an image. So based off of all of this knowledge, let's come up with a few content statements. Conduction transfers heat fastest, followed by convection and radiation. Heat can be transferred by directly putting one warm object in contact with another, conduction, by transferring through some medium such as water, convection, or by electromagnetic waves, radiation. So now you can fully understand the three types of heat transfer. Thank you for watching.